Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to brand new weekly vlog, vlogtober number three. Is this three? I think so. I am doing a weekly vlog over this week because I have three full days in Manchester. Not full days, but three days in total out of this week, Monday to Friday, that I'm actually going to Manchester for sure. So today is Tuesday. I am going to an event with a brand and I thought I would change up the style of this vlog and maybe do more of a what blogging events are really like because there are you know quite a few that we go to and I do tend to do vlogs for most of them within the weekly vlogs I'll take you along with me to the events but this week with me having today and then I'm back in again on Thursday for an event in the evening and then Friday we're in in the morning for a brunch and then I'm also getting a brow treatment which was gifted so it's all related to PR stuff yeah <laughs> basically these blogging events we're invited along to essentially promote and generally speaking we don't get paid to go to these events these are events that a brand will put on they'll invite you to they generally gift you new products or new in things that they want advertising across our platforms so it's something that we get to experience as bloggers youtubers influencers whatever you want to call us um and we're greatly we appreciate it greatly because it's usually over lunch, dinner, coffee. We get some new products to try out and share with you guys. So it's it's a perk of the job, but at the same time, I've been to a lot of events that I literally am sat there thinking, why am I here? The brand doesn't tell me anything about the new products. It's totally irrelevant to me and you guys. And then I maybe don't feature it, bypass it, don't talk about it anymore. But I would say I'm pretty selective now in terms of, I, I think I've got it down to a T when it comes to predicting whether or not the event is going to be worth my time to go and to share it with you guys. We are going to an event in Selfridges with Never Fully Dressed there announcing their launch of being in store, being in Selfridges now. So if you haven't already, sit back, relax, grab yourselves a nice cozy hot drink, get comfy, light the candles, and let's give you guys an insight to what vlogging events are really like. And I'm gonna bring you along to everyone that I go to this week. That car right there is Lydia's. And as you can tell, she's already arrived. And I've spotted over there some people against that concrete wall taking pictures. So there are a few other vloggers here. Just <laughs> trying to work out if we know those people or not. I wonder if they're bound to be going to the event. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Who was. Oh, who was it? Um, uh, yeah, this was a last minute decision. We only found out we were coming here yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. But I'm quite glad we've come in actually. Yeah, I me too. It might be too much of a rush, but as long as I can get this shot. Well, my video is uploading, oh, which today. at the minute, internet, it's taking about six hours to upload one YouTube video. So I don't know what compared to my house, but yeah, that's oh, horrible. So annoying. Mm. So hopefully by the time we get back it'll be uploaded. 
schedule for tomorrow. Fingers Zara crossed. haul, <laughs> which will already be live by the time you're watching this. I'll leave it. Like. Lydia's had a quick change and I've put on some heels for the event because like I said, it is just upstairs. Yeah, Lydia always makes me laugh whenever she gets in a car to top up makeup or whatever. She'll turn the engine on and heat it up and have a little sauna session. <laughs> Don't you? You like to be toasty. <laughs> She's like, get it blasting. But you're not cold now, though. No, I'm alright now. When's moving date? Two weeks yesterday. It's the final countdown. Oh, it's coming. See, this is one thing that I would say is a bit of a negative with events is our commute in currently. I wouldn't. I know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think twice about popping in if I lived in city centre. Just a quick outfit of the day. I did have my Primark coat on. My just got one, dripped on. <laughs> <laughs> they do just get dripped off. Um, this blouse is H&M. I've got some jewellery on from a variety. Vashi is my favourite one. I love that one. And uh, yeah, jeans are from Selected. Are they Selected or Pieces? Can't. I can't. Not got the hands. But oh, Selected. Selected. Selected fam. Uh, shoes are just a little Primark court heel because we're going to Selfridges. So I thought I would make the effort for Right, let's go. Oh, I know we're getting dripped on here. Let's just head up for lunch now. Never understand the things that we want. Why do you keep coming back? I want love, you don't know. So, why are you here? We're gonna get a few bits and share, I think. It's, it's, what's it called? San Carlo Bottega. It's like tapas style dining, isn't it? These are all the different dishes. So we're gonna get a couple and share. It's a naughty, uh, naughty lunch, this. Lydia's already told him that they're having salad tonight. We're both on diet as well. Like, Part-time diet. Well, this is the problem though. It's a health lifestyle. Yeah, you've got a balance. It's, it's <laughs> never fully dressed section which I love how they've dressed with the leopard and the chair yeah I love that we were saying this print is actually well I think it's quite autumnal with the yeah. fruits and the colors but could you, you can really wear a belt no I suppose because of, of the dark white. there yeah. I think I'm going to get this shirt and that blazer but essentially what we're taking out from this blogger event is a little goodie bag which I'll open when I get home and we are able to essentially pick a couple of items let them know which are our, our favorites mm -hmm. and if they have PR samples or samples available in our size they'll, they'll send, send them it. So yeah, we are very fortunate in our job and we do really appreciate it, but it allows us to be able to show you guys what's new in as well. So that's the principle around it and that's kind of how it works, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Typical fashion, fashion over a nice lunch as well. Yeah, and yeah. it's nice to meet and chat with new girls and, and girls the within the industry. Owner as well. The brand owner, the PR girls. <laughs> I have my audiobook ready and on the go. I'm just going to pause it for now. And I've come to Tim Hortons, which is like a Canadian drive through fast food type place. And oh my god, those apple fritter donuts are incredible. I'm not going to get one of them today. I am just going to get a coffee for the road. I'm just trying to decide. Oh, look at that one. Fall for maple. Maple latte. Mmm. And I feel like because we've just eaten as well, I feel like 
having a coffee after food i don't know it just kind of sets everything back i guess when you go into like a perfume shop and they get you to sniff coffee in between so that it neutralizes the scent maybe that's why we drink coffee after a dinner we kind of neutralize our palate again i don't know hi sorry for the wait what can i get for you hi right, can i just have a medium original brand coffee please yeah. with Small milk one. okay Oh, you want to eat orig original blend? Original blend coffee, medium size with just milk, please. Just milk? Yeah, no uh, sugar. Sure. That's it, thank you. That's it, thank you. All right, go to the next station, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Audio book. Back on. And we're off. <laughs> that car has just stopped all the traffic so something's obviously happened which means there is no exit here so we are stuck here now until he moves good job i've got my coffee to keep me going because it is tasty and tom's just called saying he's on route home now as well Who knows how long I'm going to be here for. My comfy clothes are already folded up, ready to go straight on. This is the first thing I do whenever I get back from Manchester at events or anything. Take my jewellery off. I will be taking my makeup off. First things first. Selfridges bag, which is from uh, the brand who we were with today, called Never Fully Dressed. They also included these cute little freckle face. It's like a liquid eyeliner type product that you sort of, let me just show you. It's like a liquid eyeliner that you would almost dot onto your finger and then you pat on your face. Considering I don't naturally have freckles, it's quite obvious I think on me. But you get the idea. Anyway, if you're interested, that's what it's called. Freckle face. They also very kindly gifted us this skirt, which I had seen on their website already. So, so happy they gifted us this. So, it's just like a wraparound skirt. And then also, I didn't realise this was in here. Cute little tees. One of those booby ones. How funny. But I also got this parcel. This is from New Apparel. It looks like a top and a bottom. Oh my god, the packaging is incredible. So this is the top. As you can tell, it's like a sports bra with a cutout at the back. Love the colour of that, a nice neutral beige tone. I'll show you my workout drawer. I had a clear out of it all yesterday, hence why I'm after some new good quality gym wear. So I got both of these in a medium. Oh my God, they look so high-waisted. These look so nice. What a nice set. I love the two-tone but neutral tone at the same time. So this is what I've done. I've sectioned it from top, no, bottoms, tops, hoodies, socks. That's just like accessories, gloves and a running band thing, ski gloves. And then sports bras here. I've got a bit of work to do because it is now like five, yeah, five o'clock. But because I have been out all day, it means that I now have to play catch up in the evening, get all my emails done. I've got a bit of editing to do. I've got to upload and schedule a video for tomorrow. Tim and Tom, my Tom and Lydia's Tim, might be coming with us on Thursday. So I'll probably next pick up my camera on Thursday when we next have our blogger day out blogger event trip hello it is thursday and it is the next day that i have a blogging event so of course i'm bringing you along with me as promised before i do head off into manchester i have received two parcels which i want to show you which i actually got both of these yesterday one of which is from a brand called lovies they reached out and asked if i want oh the door, the door. one second okay scrap that I now have four parcels to show you, so I'm going to get to work on opening these. You're moving uh, pretty quickly. So, Lovie's parcel. I wanted to open these today because I think I might actually wear this outfit. I'm just in a lounge set at the minute, which I've thrown on. It's like a waffle knit, nasty gal. We'll leave it linked if you're interested. 
Oh my god, all I've done is up, run up the stairs and I'm knackered. Okay, so first time I've ordered jeans from Lovies and I picked these up in a medium. They were £36, they're a nice vintage wash jean with no distressing or anything like that, which is what I wanted, just something simple. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this jumper. I love Lovies jumpers, so this is a new like knit one that I've ordered from them. I've never had this kind of a knit from them before. Got this one in a large, it's a little bit more oversized. It's not drastically oversized though. So again, if you're wanting that oversized fit, size up. And it, this is like a gray mull. I'm obsessed with this. I can just picture myself wearing it now with a PSL, hashtag pumpkin spice latte. Oh my God, our local Starbucks, which has just opened in our town, which hallelujah went to get a pumpkin spice latte and they said they've sold out and probably won't be restocked for the rest of the year because starbucks has no pumpkin spice syrup left so we won't get another pumpkin spice latte until next year in my local one i also picked up this leather look jacket it's got a wrap around waist tom's not a fan of these <laughs> he's already said is that a trend and i'm like yes he just doesn't get it so i like it i mean i love he likes leather jackets but a leather coat not so much and travel in this one meet with lydia shoot that outfit with her and then switch into our evening ish bit more smart casual event attire which is actually for a brand called sostress green gren i think it's a danish company which is a homeware store and they've opened one in Manchester. So we're going to like a VIP opening night. I think they're officially open tomorrow for the public. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be open. Royal Exchange Square, I think it is. We'll talk more about that later. But anyway, last thing that I picked up from Lovies was this scarf. It's like a multi-check pattern print scarf, very autumnal colors. I'm obsessed with it. It's the perfect scarf for me, nice and big and chunky. I might even take that as an extra layer if it's a bit chilly for tonight. And then a second parcel which I got yesterday was from Kiehl's, which I just briefly opened. And they've sent me some of their Christmassy products, Christmassy packaged products, which is new in. I love how they do their Christmas packaging with red and white. They've sent me the creme decor for your body in a nice Christmassy festive packaging. The Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is a favorite. I'm nearly out of mine. The Ultra Facial Cream, so I'm glad I've got another one of those. And then this is again another one that's been recommended for my skin type in the past, so I do really like it. It's the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. Oh, it's from Key Sunglasses. Oh, cute. Yes, I remember picking these ones out. They're a bit bigger than I thought, but that's kind of okay. I like the brown tint. Maybe coming with me to South Africa this Christmas and New Year, who knows? And then they also sent another pair, which are the round clear glasses. I don't know if I, I love the look of these. Like again, cozy jumper, pumpkin spice latte. And these are, you won't be able to see, blue reflective as well. So these help block your, well, protect your eyes from blue light. So when you're working on your laptop and everything, I don't know. I actually wear glasses or contact lenses every day. Next and final package to open up with you guys before heading off into Manchester. I need some scissors. You guys will probably realise from this vlog how much blogger mail we actually get, which don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I feel very grateful for, but this is why I constantly have clear outs. I donate a lot. I give a lot to friends and family because I just haven't got room to store it all and time to try it all and everything. So, oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh, how nice is this? Oh my god, this is so big. Oh, Chloe Morello. So we have three lip icings, an eye product and lip product combo. We have a palette. We have another palette here, which is a highlighting palette. And then last but not least down here, we have some glowy radiance powders and an endless shade stick oh it's an eyeshadow stick i love using them thank you so much to pixie for sending me that very generous of you just waiting for lydia i think she's nearby and i'm desperate for the toilet so i'm like come on lydia hurry up Ah, it's World Mental Health Day today, so I might as well say it. I'm feeling anxious. I always get anxious for these kind of events. Me and Lydia, we're both the same. That's why we quite like going to them together, because we get each other. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I 
Do you see her? So yeah. But especially for evening events, we're both the same because we get like ourselves in this mental headspace of all day waiting around for an event. Whereas tomorrow morning, we're back and we're back here first thing in the morning so it'll probably be like i don't know more of an hour kind of event nonetheless still very much looking forward to it but we do both of us tend to get a little bit like oh before events don't know why but you know we could easily just say i don't want to come to this event but i know that when i'm there i'll enjoy it and afterwards i'll have enjoyed it it's great content for you guys but I do always feel a bit nervous. She's gonna need help parking this car. Look at you with the tunes blasting. <laughs> Hi. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy to get in all the from me. I went through a phase of like being obsessed with that song. I need the toilet. Same. Going on this scarf because it is quite chilly. Spritz of perfume. It's my new Zara one. They're so cheap, the Zara perfumes. They're just as a throw in your bag. Yeah. Brush my hair. So, Freya, what are we wearing today? It's a nice Lobies. scarf. Yes, nice colours. Nice. Yeah. So, I have my. It does go. Hair. Did you just say it doesn't go with it? Well, it's not meant I feel like it goes to. perfectly with it. <laughs> Um, leather pants Zara. I've literally been living in these, and these are last year's, but they are, they are yeah, they are good, good aren't they? The only thing is, they give a little bit on the way. Yeah, but if you're going for food, at least you're not going to be I know. Win -win. sucked in. My Primark trainers, which I quite like the fact that they're minimal, no branding, just yeah, plain I do. Simple. This plain <laughs> white, white t shirt, t -shirt. is Boohoo Man. Ooh. This is Nasty Girl. Lovies coat, feeling very. Autumnal raptor. In fact, I love this colour headband. That is very autumnal. I'm not wearing it. Have you had your hair done? No. You didn't. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I think there's a lot of craft stuff at this brand. Like yeah. papers and... We had a look on their website and it looked really nice. Yeah. So go on, how do you pronounce it? See if you say it the I'm same way I said it. Sustring three. Sustrin Sustrin so I think I said Sustrin Gren or something. As I was driving in and I was like sat in traffic and the guy going the opposite way to me was sat in his car. He was sat eating a kiwi like you would an apple with the skin on. What? Yeah, that's not normal, that is, is it? absolutely bizarre. I just saw him pick up his kiwi and bite straight into it and I was literally like... It's the weirdest thing. Let me know if you do that. I've never Who heard of that. Does that? You can eat the skin though, can't you? Well, you can, but you're not going for it, are you? Well, I'm not. Anyway, so strength, Bren. So strength, Bren. the past don't want to complicate things maybe if i asked was any of it so essentially what we get to do is we've got given a goodie bag and a drink and we are just having a look around anything that we like to look off we just pop in the bag and we get to take home so i've spotted some dry flowers that i love the look of and also a rug if i can fit that in we will see We just come out, we've stopped up. Can you do stopped up? Tim's yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pleased. <laughs> pleased with the purchase. Yeah, pleased with the store. Apparently it's bigger this one than the Altrincham one. Oh right, yeah. Uh, a couple of the people that said they've been to the Altrincham store said that it was smaller. Do you know where I'm talking about? Salvies? No. I'm, You're not, gonna... I'm, not, I'm not sure we're going to go. So you got fancy Italian. No, well, yeah. They do a good variety. Italian, but... Mm. 
Anyway, I'm going to head back home. Can we go for food? Yeah, Zizi's is Italian. He's off. So as you can tell, the boot is full of goodies, but I am up early. Um, I'm back in Manchester going to the Ivy tomorrow for another event. So what I'll do is I'll head to that event and then show you all these bits when I get home tomorrow night. So I'll see you guys in the morning. On the road again, and I'm with my pal this time. Called you my pal this time. You know, I hate it when Tom calls me pal or mate. I am your pal. Yeah, my best pal. Anyway, we are on the road. It's very wet today. Let me just spin you around and show you what we are witnessing. So, that's great. So we're actually heading in for a couple of different reasons. I'm going for a brunch this morning at the Ivy with ShopStyle, which is an affiliate platform, which a lot of YouTubers, bloggers, Instagrammers we use when we tag links for you guys to shop through the links. We earn a small percentage from the commission. That's why if ever I post something on Instagram with a little AFF, on it, it means it's an affiliate link. And then I've got a brow appointment to have a new treatment called brow lamination at a place called the Glow Up Studio, again in Manchester. And then Tom has two meetings in the afternoon. So we thought he'd hop in for the ride, bring his work stuff, work this morning, and then have his meeting this afternoon. So I've got my work stuff to work in town after I'm all done. And then maybe, We have arrived at the Ivy. I'm here with Lydia. We've both got our umbrellas because, well, because, yeah, I know. Well, because Lydia's I broken think. because it's raining. Um, no time for shooting and not, not the weather for shooting either today. So we're just gonna head straight on in. Tom's actually come to rescue us, haven't you? Knight in shining armour because we're, when we were sat at brunch on the Dizz Face Shop, um, essentially there's been a stabbing in the yard now. Alright, at least four. Helicopters, police everywhere, so we're a little bit on edge. Oh, it's hovering over the yard Oh, yeah. So we're walking Lydia back to her car. You see the helicopter up there. We don't know if there's someone still out there. That's our worry. So we're all a little bit apprehensive, a bit on edge. On a lighter note, we had a lovely brunch. We've got a massive, massive goodie bag here. I think Lydia's spotted a cookie in there, which I can't, like, when I say cookie, it's a giant cookie. So if it is that, I'm excited to show you that. I'll show you all the contents when I get home along with the Sustrengren stuff that we got. I've never been pronouncing it wrong because Rosie oh, really? sat next to me said it completely differently. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll be all right from here Make sure you there. get in, so. Oh, thank you. I'll Ooh. just keep this on just in case. So when are we next thank in? You. So we've just come for a brief pit stop at a place called, I think it's XYZ building. It's really cool in here, I've never seen it before. But yeah, I really like it in here. I thought I'd just give it a little shout out because I think it's really cool and good for like a meeting space if you did just want to come for a quick meeting, which is what we're doing. Hello. No, you're fine, you're fine. So I am... Um, Sat ready. Sorry, I've got full face makeup on. That's no, probably annoying. Fine. Is that no, alright? It's, fine. it's just your Yeah, exactly. I had um, uh, we had a breakfast at the Ivy this morning, so yeah. I was like, I'm gonna have to put my brows yeah, on. No, you have to get. Your Feel face free face. to take it all off. Yeah. And so this is this is an unfair before, really, because I've got product on them. 
Without them, I'm quite fair. So yeah, okay, yeah. So or like, just do a light brown. Okay. On them. Yeah, we'll fine. Do a dark brown. Black. <laughs> that would look insane. <laughs> you would be like so sad. Yeah. Like what we did to so uh, brow lamination is what it's called, right? Yeah, eyebrow lamination. Book through you your started? Instagram. I don't know if you started. I'm vlogging. I'm <laughs> filming. You can come in. You won't be able to. You'll just see your hands yeah, as okay. it um, um, so yeah. brown lamination is what it's called. If they want yeah. to book, contact you through Instagram. Yeah, Globe we'll Studio. We'll leave that link. Yeah, all that and amazing. it costs how much? Forty-five pounds. Lasts if. around two to three weeks ish. Yeah, two to three weeks, but um, the tint lasts like about ten days on the skin. So, did you say it lasts for around an hour, hour and fifteen minutes? Yeah, yeah just, just because yeah. we want to keep all the products on the skin for as long as we can. You have to. For maintenance, once they're done, you've got to keep them dry for a certain period yes, of time. Yes, yes, you've got to keep them dry for the first 48, 48 hours. 48 hours, okay. Just like, you know, if you're getting an eyelash lift, you've yeah. got to keep them dry. Yeah, exactly. For the first same thing hours. there, yeah. I love LVL lashes, and it's probably a similar thing yeah. for your brows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the glue. Okay. Right, so I'll be back with you. Stage number two. So this is the um, lamination lotion. So this will help the brows uh, manipulate the hairs into stay like it's basically like a perming solution. Yeah. So now this is gonna make sure the brows sit in one direction. Okay. Let's move that on. For how long? Um, fifteen minutes. So this is the next solution that we leave on for how long? Another ten to twelve minutes. Ten to twelve minutes. It looks similar to the last one there. Yeah, but it doesn't smell similar to the last one. Is this the one that we did patch test with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not got the best smell, this one. <laughs> so now we're going in with the tint. Yep. So, this is what they, oh my god, I love them. They're so much fuller. And this is obviously, my actual brow here has no makeup on it. It is natural, so obviously there's a bit of makeup wiped away from my face, but we'll just ignore that. And in a couple of days time, once they settle a little bit and after 48 hours of not washing them, getting them wet, I'll be able to fill them in with, or not even fill them in, I think what I do is probably line underneath, because I don't feel like, I, you don't feel yeah, like you need to fill no. them in. They're so like, I never thought I'd be able to get brows this thick, honestly. We came into Cos last week for vlog footage and I videoed this and Tom spotted this. Look, go on, show them. It's just your everyday hood. It's just a hood. <laughs> 55 quid for a hood. Although to be fair, I do really like that coat. Feels really nice, but yeah, I'm not sure about just a hood. Anyway, I've just grabbed myself a pumpkin spice latte and we're gonna go get some Chinese food and quite frankly, get out of Manchester because it's still, Arndale is still on lockdown. We are at our next destination. Oh, can you stop with your sniffing? All right, start again. Now cut. <laughs> Do that again. Cut. We're at Wing Yip, which is Tom's favorite place for Chinese. Oh, look, it's on Thompson Street. <laughs> to spin it so you're not oh you're all right he's all right being in it you don't want to see what i bought for you yeah I'll, quit I'll actually start with something i bought today from the body shop i went in knowing that they had this range and deciding to purchase it for myself as they had an offer on buy one get one half price i think it was so i picked up from the limited edition, the Fall for Pumpkin scent, Vanilla Pumpkin, Body Shop Body Butter and Shower Gel. Oh, I don't know if you'll like this, smell it. I really like it, but it's pumpkin. Whoa. Mm. What is it? Body Butter and Shower Gel. Cute. Okay, so. I won't be allowed to use that, right? No, you can't use those ones. Right, okay, so we're gonna unbox this one first, which is what we got from Shop Style Collective this morning, and it's from Blondie's Kitchen. Oh my God, what? smell it. It's got loads of chocolate on the inside, look, let me. 
break in half so you can see all that chocolate. Oh, that's a disgrace. Well, I tell you what, let's have that yeah. after we're finished. Love Fiddy have gifted us, I think this is a hair accessories brand. Fiddy Scent. Huh? Fiddy Scent. Oh, it's like a little bow. What? You put your hair back like that and do it like that. It's not like that. It's very clueless. What? You won't know that, it's a film. Oh, this is nice. This is my style. The beige and the pearl. I've not seen this one on their Grandma. website. Put it. Grandma. It's not grandma. These are in. I just need to find out how to wear it. But of all the ones that I've spotted online, this would literally be the perfect headband for me. Pretzel, smoking barbecue. <gasps> Love this. The salted popcorn from Joe's Kit Joe and Steph's gourmet popcorn chef thing. Rose lemonade. Have an umbrella. I left my umbrella in town. Yay, I've got a new one. It's more of a boys one. No, it's not more of a boys one. Tommy has a new cup. He always steals mine. Jimmy Choo perfume. Candy kittens, I love their sweets. These are in wild strawberry. We've got loads of treats in here. It's a dual pouch facial sheet mask. Face gotcha. mask. Put it. There's three in there. One, two, three. Oh my god, love this. And then, last two things in here, we have Shopstyle pen. One of my favourite pens I use every day is my Shopstyle one that I got at my last event. You can have that if you want. Cute little hessian bag, drawstring bag with... Metal straws. Yeah! How did you know that? Just, I'm just... Metal straws. And a little pipe cleaner thing, he's gone again. Your turn to shine now, I've got you a couple of bits from Sostren Gren. I really need to work out how to pronounce that. Yeah, so the first thing that I'll... Huh? Probably not the white. Mm. <laughs> first thing I got was some dried flowers. And the annoying thing about this is that I don't have prices for everything because um, we were gifted all of this at the event, like I said yesterday, but they, they totaled everything up here that I'm about to show you for £70, so that gives you a rough idea. I don't think I saw anything in that store for over £20, including furniture. Ah, oh, that was spiky, that one. <laughs> right, I'll dress all these up and put them over on my Instagram home account. I got a notebook. You have about 12. I know, days. but it looks nice. Yeah, but you don't use the ones you've got. I do use them. I got some scissors. Everyone Smart. Scissors. I like the fact that they're black and gold. And we've got some measuring spoons. You've already got them as well. No, we've got the white ones. I want some wooden ones for our wooden thing. Love this. It's a handleless mug that says sweater weather on it. So when you hold it, you can feel the warmth of both hands like that. And inside is some dark chocolate almonds. So they can go in our treat jar. And then the last bag, Oh, stationery again, I got a gold ruler because you I threw away your ruler, didn't I? Yeah, because you said we already had another one. Yeah, but it's smaller than that. So now we've got a nice brand new shiny gold one. Oh, brilliant. And then I've got you some olive oil. Truffle oil. Is it? A cheese knife. We don't actually have a cheese board knife. Oh, some cute salad serving spoon and then i got this which i thought would be nice to house our garlic in a little terracotta pot i got a set of three plant pots one two and then there's another baby one in there a new kitchen roll holder because i really like the fact that it's gold on top another mug which i love the look of that mug and then i got this which i think is a cup they have loads of crockery in there so if we want all new bowls plates and everything i thought that was a nice color i thought this could be nice as a pen holder downstairs on the desk did you say you got a knife that was the, the, the cheese knife you meant the cheese knife yeah that's a knife so tom's actually away tomorrow night so i'm gonna have the weekend to have a big clear out so if i haven't already i think i'm gonna try and list some bits on Depop and say good night bye guys go on then.